hello guys welcome back to our channel we're so excited to have you again one of the things that was most notable during the period of the incest protest was that the youths were not ready to have anyone to lead them now on one occasion uh when they to talk to them and the way they dismiss him was really uh, touching i tell you the truth despite the fact that he's been supporting anything uh, against the government some time ago he talked about revolution now protests which led to his arrest and all of that and now he's on bail and he's still going out for protests the youth did not receive him and but right now the shocking aspect of this is that uh, as we're talking to you the incest protesters most of the incest protesters are demanding that the sorority should be rearrested again over the renewed demonstration don't forget that yesterday or on sunday they kick-started another demonstration, another protest in um, Abuja. I still remember when he had to ride on the ground, you know, um, in South Africa at the airport. There was a lot of challenge from the uh, policeman that was there, or Air Force that was there. And uh, today again, gather some other youths and they continue with the Ensas protest. Most people believe that this Ensas protest is over. Why are you still pushing for answers protests? If you have anything notable that you feel that you want to talk to the government about or you want to protest about, let the populace, uh, pop, populace know not continuing with the chant of answers protests. And right now, they are saying this guy should be rearrested and um, uh, a lot of things follow afterwards. But first of all, let's just look at uh, the news. Now, the NSAS protesters have urged the federal government to revoke the bail earlier granted the Revolution now convener and publisher of Sahara Reporter, Omoyele Sore, following his earlier ad arrest and detention by the Department of State Services, DSS, for alleged treason, for allegedly bridging the condition of the bail. This is just as the protesters under the ages of genuine ENSAS protesters commending the Nigerian police for rising to the occasion on Friday by dispersing a handful of misguided youths assembled at the gate of the National Assembly by the so-called activists to foment trouble under the pretext of NSAS protests. The genuine hashtag NSAS protesters in a statement on Friday in Abuja insisted that Sore, having breached the condition of the bail granted him following his revolution now campaign, must not only be immediately arrested, but also have his bail revoked. The statement was signed by Dr. Oji Nwakucha for Southeast, Dr. Aremu Babatunde for Southwest, Comrade Frank Jaja representing South South, and Al Haji Ibrahim Danya for Northwest, others are Sheikh Mohammed Adamu for Northeast. Mr. Danguhi Samson for FCT and Comrade Peter Johanna for North Central. The group insisted that the renewed protest being spearheaded by Mr. Sore was not known to them, restating that they had since backed down from their protests but were already meeting with government at all levels at the round table. The group appeared to Appeal to parents advise their ward against allowing themselves to be misled by Mr. Sowery, who is accused of attempting to hijack the NSAS platform to deliberately blackmail President Muhammadu Buhari and his government. According to the genuine hashtag NSAS protester, Sowery clandestine move is to feather his own nest. They noted with concern the insistence of Mr. Sowery to go on the protest when all those that started the NSAS protest had not only backed down but are also meeting with government towards resolving issues that inform the action, tasking security agency to see Sore as a threat to national security and immediately treat him like one. The statement read in part, The genuine NSAS protesters being the body of the real people that protested Recently, against the police special anti-robbery squad, SARS, excessive power and brutality, have been watching with concern the attempt by one Mr. Moyelesoore to hijack our platform to further his inordinate ambition. We feel concerned that 
after we back down from the protests and are now engaging the government at all levels with a view to resolving the issues that inform the protests, they said Mr. Soare is busy assembling some misguided elements using our platform. We are, however, not surprised at Mr. Soares' insistence on protests given his antecedents. We recall that he had called on revolution against the present federal government, leading to his arrest and detention. And given his innovative role in this act, we are not surprised at what he is driving at. It is in this regard that we wish to strongly appeal to the security agencies to see Mr. Sore as a security threat and tr- treat him like one. By this, we are not only calling on his arrest, but also appealing to the federal government to immediately arrest and withdraw his bail condition for flouting the conditions attached to it, the group said in the statement. The group added, it may be further recalled that, owing to the entrenchment of democratic tenets under the current administration, which adhere strictly to the principle of rule of law, institutional independence, and non-interference, the court graciously granted Sore Bell with conditions attached therein. One such condition was a restriction on addressing public gathering under the criminal trial until the criminal trial was concluded. Let me read that again. He said, one, su- one of such conditions was a restriction on addressing public gathering until the criminal trial was concluded. In his characteristic disobedience to law and probably constituted authority, Sore has continued to observe that aspect of his bail condition in the bridge. We have taken the pains of articulating these points to show to the world who this man truly is as a prelude to the obvious attempt to hijack a worthy cause initiated by a patriotic youth with genuine agitation. Having said this, we wish to unequivocally call on the security agencies to immediately arrest and detain Mr. Omoye Lesoware for investigation. Drawing attention to the event at the National Assembly gate where the youth assembled by Mr. Soare to protest against the government until the guys under the guise of insults were dispersed, the group commended Nigerian police for the action. His desperate attempt to relaunch the insults protests, which have since been arrested by the original promoters to allow actions from government at the various level, is unacceptable. The group, however, tasked the police to go a step further in not only dispersing the youth, but by arresting them, including their leader, Amoye Lesoare, for onward prosecution over breach of public peace and attempt to incite the civil populace against President Muhammadu Buhari and his government. The attempt by Mr. Amoye Lesoare to hijack our platform to incite the civil populace against President Buhari and his government just to further his inordinate ambition is unacceptable. We are therefore calling on not just the police but also other security agencies to see Amoye Lesoare as an agent of destabilization and pick him up appropriately for investigation. While drawing attention to the event of Friday, November 5th and Sunday, November 1st, 2020 in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, where a few persons were seen protesting under the auspices of the ENSAS protest, the genuine ENSAS protesters said the development were indications of the selfish agenda being hatched by Soare for a predetermined end. Recall that the said protesters with Soare assuming a prominent place had besieged the precinct of the Namdi Aziki Way International Airport as well as the force headquarters where they left the insert's inscription boldly on the road. The development has, however, triggered an angry reaction from the original promoters of the hashtag insert promoters who have called on the youth in the country to disregard the revivalist agenda. According to the group, the need for citizens to give government at all levels a chance to address the concern that necessitated the INSAS demonstration had become compelling more so that commitment had already been made. It submitted further that the antecedent of Soare, who has led a fair revolution attempt, could not inspire meaningful followership, hence the need to disown him. We make bold to say that 
considering the aftermath of the nationwide protests as seen in the hijack by hoodlums and attendance death, destruction of public and private property, no responsible citizen would want to reignite the event. Clearly, this move to all intent, clearly this move to all intent and purpose is manifestly tendentious, overtly self-serving, and any time or anything but altruistic. It is designed to further his selfish agenda of blackmailing the federal government, and we completely disassociate ourselves from this move by a man seen in many instances as a meddlesome interloper who seek to hijack noble causes for premeditated end. We hereby call on millions of our articulate, ever-conscious and responsible youth across the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT to resist these latest antics by sorry as it will not only threaten the rela- relative peace being enjoyed today, but disturb the socio-economic fabric of the nation negotiating recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. Demic. Hmm, that was a long one from these guys whom I, I for me I don't know who they are, you know, though they are saying that uh, they are the genuine answers protesters, promoters of the protest. Uh, but then looking at um, what we have heard before now, there were no no group of persons who were like leaders, you know, during the protest. That's the truth. There were no leaders. So coming out to say we are like representing the interests of all those who protested for me. That's a big lie. You know, this is totally um, wrong. Uh, there is no truth in it. Let's be real. But at the same time, Soare is a, 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 a one person who is, or who has always been agitating for for uh, against bad governance. That's we all know that he's always been agitating for bad governance. But right now, the issue, the need for protest is for you to clearly spell out the things that you want during the period. And if the government have uh, come to a round table with the youth and they have accepted to do certain things, I feel that timelines should be given to them. And when you give them a timeline, you wait to see what they will do. And if they don't do, we can hit the streets again. Right now, Nigeria, they have already set up a judicial panel of inquiry. They have dissolved uh, the, the SARS guys and all of that. Some persons say they have not dissolved and all of them. But for now, what we have seen thus far, I, I, I can't say that they are operational anywhere because there are no videos pointing to that truth. So no need to incite people, you know, to pick up weapons against anybody and all of that. So... For now, I, I, I believe that Soare should rest. You know, if he doesn't have any ulterior motive or these things are not geared towards uh, making himself overly popular so that uh, it can help his political ambition, he should rest. If he was working for the Nigerian people, the Nigerian people are telling him, rest. Let us first of all see what the government will do. If they don't do what we want, then we can hit the streets again. You know, that's reasonable. Not just to go out every now and then as if protest is a lifestyle. What are you protesting for? Answers, answers, answers. You don't have what to do. Go and look for one and do it. You understand? It doesn't make any sense to keep protesting around and all of that. Let there be visible reason why you want protest to be ongoing. You know, and if those needs are made, what's the need of going around disturbing the peace of the environment? That's just my take. What do you